Kia ora brothers and girls, welcome back to the channel. Today uh, we've got the trials uh, event starting. Um, I'm going to do a little bit, something a little bit different here because um, I kind of started my channel around the same time that the Trials of Black Panther came out. It was very similar to this, you know, different days, uh, focusing on different uh, things and different skill sets. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and then the final day, a lot of buffs, a lot of champs, everything coming in and you can use all the boosts. And if you collect every boost from every day, uh, day seven is normally pretty easy. And if you don't, it, it gets pretty hard. Um, now, some of you may not have popped into this. So you don't really know what level, like you only get one shot at, uh, at, at a level. So you probably thinking maybe do you want to go into master? Do you want to go into epic? Uh, and this is something that I want to actually test. I want to actually test with on the line. Um, I want to test if we can do this with, uh, you know, do we need five stars? Do we need max four stars? Can we do it with uh, rank for four stars? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my Corvus and Star-Lord uh, kind of for backup, uh, Proxima as well for the synergy there. I'm going to bring a maxed four star Void. Uh, he is awakened with fear of Void, so he should be able to hopefully reverse the healing. Um, and I'll also bring in a rank four four star Archangel and I'll kind of want to compare all of them and see how they do. I mean, uh, uh, CG does a lot of burst damage. Star Lord can do uh, heaps of damage. So with Star Lord, hopefully we're out DPSing these guys. With CG, we're hopefully trying to out DPS them. Um, Proxima is like slow and steady, but she could do phenomenal damage as well. Over time, she can also heal block. Uh, Void can reverse and Archangel hopefully can shut down some healing. So let's have a look at the nodes. Uh, so 200 health, healing regions, 100% more effective. You have this aspect of Genesis. Uh, both SP 1 and 2 is unblockable. Um, so you can't get hit by them. You've got to evade them. And Masochism, um, which is a really annoying node. Um, so... The opponents are not too bad. I mean, Old Man Logan, Wolverine, and Magic. Uh, only 100,000 life. So, to begin with, at face value, it doesn't seem like it's going to be super hard. But let's let's have a look. Let's see how we go. So, we'll get in there. Give him a bit of a smashing. So we've done, I mean, we're pretty close to finishing off those charges, uh, but he's back almost at full life, but we're okay. I mean, we're making very slow progress. Maybe CG is not going to be fantastic for this because especially once we lose the, those glaives, once we use them up. Um, it's kind of like using a dull node. He doesn't do crits and, he, and his damage is low. Um, as you can see here, I mean, we're probably a minute in now, right? And uh, this test is not going super well. We're not really gaining a lot on him in terms of damage. Um, and we, we don't really have that much utility. CG is normally my go-to champ. I love him, obviously, for, for burst damage and questing and stuff. He's phenomenal, but... Um, even here, even at uh, five star or rank four, he's not going to do enough damage to our DPS um, to our DPS this this region. So, I mean, I'm going to give it a little bit of a go, a little bit more for go, but um, I might just have to to take a punch to the face and give up here quite soon. Um, so we still have four other options: uh, Star Lord, Proxima. Archangel and uh, Void. Now, obviously, I really like Void. I think uh, I think Void's probably going to work the best, especially if you can start uh, stacking the the reverse heal debuffs. Because I mean, these guys are regenerating phenomenally. Look at that; it's like a um, it's like 132 attack, right? So, if you can reverse that and triple and you know 200 times or 300 times, um, I mean, he's just going to kill himself. Um, but the, the tricky thing is he, they've got masochism as well. So it's, it's all uh, going to be a timing thing. So what we're going to try to do here with Star-Lord, the strategy is quite simple. We're going to try to ramp up our damage and just add DPS him. Because, um, I mean, you can regen 140 life a second. Uh, but if I'm coming at you with 25, 50,000 um, K SPs, then it only takes 
you know, a couple of SPs and you're gone. Ooh, this is not going that well though. We get quite hit. I'm gonna have to start just focusing a little bit. Sorry guys. So let me just pay attention. Our crits are starting to creep up here. I need to get a streak and probably do a couple of SP2s. So now we're starting to get 5k crits and now we're starting to make some some headway into him because we're we're damaging a lot more than he can regen. Um, and I think maybe one more SP2 should generally do the trick. With the Muscasm, you got to be careful because he's not going to get parried on that first block. So you kind of have to block and then go back and then try to parry him again. Um, hope he... You know, hope he doesn't get too aggressive. We get clipped there with unblockable, which is really annoying because, I mean, we almost had him. Obviously, um, with a bit more concentration, I mean, uh, I'm recording this as I've just woken up in the morning and um, haven't even had my coffee. So I'm a little bit off. My game's a little bit off, but um, maybe I'll have a better run with Archangel. But, I mean, he was pretty close. If I had played a bit better, obviously, I would have um, I would have taken him in one go. With Archangel, it's all really about the neurotoxins, but it's um, this masochism is really messing up with me. So now I just need to get a poison on him, and whatever I had on him was wasted. Now can I get a poison and neurotoxin? Guess not. Again, again, I get clipped, and just not very good reflexes today. Um, I would like to. Th think it would be quite hard uh, with with the four star um, archangel to get the neurotoxins in but I think if you could get the neurotoxins in and not get clipped like I did you probably could shut down his healing and bleed him down but yeah we're gonna try with Proxima now um, I, I guess what we're gonna have to do re here is really try to build those missions and um, and add DPS um, I was hoping I could uh, heal block him as well uh let's see if that works mm. thing with proxima is it takes such a long time to ramp up damage uh, and your damage is not ramped up on your normal hits your damage is ramped up on your specials uh, so is he healing on my heal block i i'm pretty sure he is he's 50 percent now he's 56, so he's actually shrugging off my heal block and, uh, and regenning off it. Which is, a, which is really quite annoying, but uh, I've got one mission there. It's a bit lucky because my first mission was quite hard to intercept attack. Uh, just, I just happened to kind of fluke through it. So if I can get my four missions, uh, then I can do some m massive uh, SP damage, hopefully. And uh, it will go back to that Star Lord thing, you know, like he will reach into almost full, full life. I can't, I can't really heal block him uh, with Proxima, it seems, because um, every time I do, he just heals up my life and shrugs it off because uh, of stupid masochism nodes. But uh, I suppose if I can do 50k special damage or 75k, then I only need one or two to take him out completely, right? So let's see if we can get that. Uh, I just need to parry, so I've got two missions there. If I can get the third one, um, along with hitting my combo meter at 75, that'll be fourth, I could do some tremendous SP damage. So, we're almost there. There we go. So, I mean, he... We're starting to, we're not really gaining, but we're not really losing. There you go, that's the third one. I just need a couple more parries. And maybe I shouldn't have waited for a couple more parries. Maybe I should have just sb 3 them. Um, so there goes Proxima. We probably could have had a good run with her. Um, now we got to try Void. This masochism node, though, is really messing up with me. I mean, it's messing up with the rhythm of neurotoxins for Archangel. Uh, it's... It didn't really mess up with Proxima too much. I guess she's got minus 200 defensive ability um, accuracy anyway on the on the block. So uh, basically, uh, it, that 
that part didn't really matter, but I just couldn't heal block him uh, is the only thing. Um, so I wonder actually, I'd have to watch the vid, but I wonder actually if the parry doesn't uh, set off the masochism, but everything else does. I think, I think that might have been the case. Um, anyway, so we've got a swirly thing, which is the thing that we want on Void, because the swirly thing reverses life. Um, and what we want to do is we want to be able to stack as many of these as possible. So what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try to kind of like set off uh, his masochism, maybe with a parry, and then see if I can get a double sting. Um, we were successful that time. Or if I can get the double sting in, and maybe one of the debuffs can get, uh, they can shake it off, and the other debuff will hit him. So at the moment, he's bleeding out, he's degening. This is pretty good. All I gotta do is just chill out the back. Uh, and see if I can just somehow keep stacking these debuffs. Thing is now I need a parry on him or something. So yeah, I mean it's it's a bit of a funky quest this one. Because I think um I I think if you play well it's a big if, right? Because I'm playing like absolute Muppet, but um taking care of him there. I think if you play well, you can do this with rank four, four stars, uh, but the risk is a little bit higher, or obviously uh, max out four stars, but the risk is higher and you have to have a decent matchup, right? Um, but the thing is, you also can't come in here with just any rank four, five star and expect to to win uh, or to beat or to beat Epic because the the region is really strong in this one um so you need either some strong utility or some incredible incredibly heavy damage right if you have a rank five five star or you have like a, a rank two six star or just any six star um you probably could come in here with a few options that are not optimum and just out dps i got my ass handed to me by magic there um I might, uh, hmm. should I try Void again? Should I try Archangel to shut down the heal? No, but he's going to die really quick. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to have to heal up my Star Lord. He kind of worked the best for Old Man Logan. And I think with Magic, it's going to be the same. Go on, yeah, so going back to that, to that um to that comment or conversation i guess if you have a, a sub-optimum six star that's pretty high level you you probably could um come in here and try to add dps but you kind of to come in here and be able to just add dps without having to think too much you really need a max out five star or a six uh you won't really do it with a rank four four star unless you know you've got star lord or domino or um blade or something like that someone that does a, a lot of damage or sparky someone who does a lot of damage really quickly um but you can see here i mean even with the rank four star lord it, it takes a while it, it'll get done but it takes a while so i've also recently discovered this pacify um this pacify mastery pacify gig um, I've finally managed to unlock it and uh, it works great. It means that if you, when the opponent is stunned, um, they have like a 30% reduced chance to uh, set off or trigger anything. Uh, so if you parry, if you parry magic just before she reaches a full power level, you pacify her and her limbo doesn't go off sometimes and so you don't have to take all that additional damage obviously it only works 30 percent of the time but um often th that's just enough to you know that's enough to to get you to almost um to almost finish her off and as you can see there almost finished her off with not a lot of life and she had one percent five life five life really uh yeah i mean blade here would be quite 
quite good because I suppose you could regen the limbo and uh, it might shut down her limbo. And her regen, unlike Old Man Logan's or Wolverine's, is not actually strong. Um, it's more the limbo damage and um, the masochism that's going to give her a bit of life. But hopefully we can finish her off there with, uh, with Void. <laughs> Just as we were about to. She regens like 10%. And maybe again here. Oh, this is so annoying. Now she's 11%. Come on. Might just have to save up for SP2 here and finish her off with it. There we go. There. Done. Whew. Okay. So one more um, to go. Wolverine and... In theory, I've got the the best matchup. I mean, Awakened Void versus Wolverine. I should, in theory, be able to completely rip him a new one. Uh, my problem at the moment is that that Masochism node is really messing with me and really messing with my timing. So, um, I think it's going to take a little while for it to sink in and for me to be able to, to work around and, and play around it. But that's part of the reason I like um, I like recording these videos because then day one of next week I can come back watch this and remember all the mistakes that I made and, and remember what I struggled with and then hopefully um, I don't do it again next week. And for you guys who have not started this or were struggling with it or have seen some videos and were a little bit scared, and um, you also can have a look and see kind of what the the problems are. Because um, we've got some pretty dream matchups here with some some fairly decent level characters. So, um, but it's still proven to be a little bit tricky. Not impossible, but a little bit tricky. I don't know about this um, dark sting strategy. It's kind of damn it. I missed that one. It's kind of um, a bit hit and miss because you've just got to get the timing right of parry and then. Get that SP in. So... Let's... Let's try again with Void. Okay. Sorry, I got distracted. There's like, I was looking out the window and these people are coming from the beach with like playing some random musical tunes, like some very, uh, very party Jamaica man music in the background there. I was like, who are they? What's going on? What's happening? Um, right, so let's try reverse it with SP1. So I've got, the, I keep getting clipped. God damn it. You know what? You know what? Screw this. I might just, I might just add, I might just go for the add DPS option because one, this video is getting way too long. Two, um, it's worked the best. Three, I mean, to be able to get these utilities working with the math was uh, with the masochism node, it's been really really annoying. So I might just, you know, get in here with Star Lord and just finish Wolverine off. Um. Anyway, conclusion of this is. You can out DPS it, you just need to have someone who does damage like Domino or Star Lord or um, or Starkey or Aegon or you know someone who's who's a really heavy um, damage dealer and who can ramp up with time. Proxima as well and Angela, um, those kind of champs. Um, utility it can be done with lower level champs like four four r fours and four r fives it can be done but you need to be one on your game unlike i was today hopefully you have a better run uh, and two you need to be able to work around and play around that masochism timing because that really messes up a whole bunch of stuff it messes up my your neurotoxins it's going to mess up your voids and reverse heals uh, it's going to mess up guillotine's reversal um so yeah, but 
sorry for the long vid, but it is finished. The rewards are actually worth it. You get 500 five star shards. Um, you get the tier four catalysts, which you know are neither here or there. You get the essence, which is the main thing, the boost that you're going to need for day seven. And you get these little things called raw elements, which I guess you can buy stuff with. I don't know what you buy with them. Um, but yeah, uh, I suppose you can buy stuff with or transmute, uh, transmute them. So yeah, sorry for the long vid, guys. And sorry, it's been really crap. Uh, I will load up another one uh, day one of, of week two. That's hopefully a smoother run for you guys. Um, but hopefully at least this shows you a little bit of the pitfalls uh, and experimenting with, you know, four stars, uh, four star rank fours and four star rank fives and what your challenges are going to be around this. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Do follow because I'm going to be posting uh, every day uh, same kind of thing, same kind of experiments. Um, and yeah, uh, subscribe to the channel, follow us. You probably won't like this video, but if you do, do give us a thumbs up. And, uh, and yeah, Kakitiano, we'll see you tomorrow, boys and girls.